If you've been looking into installing a new heat pump hot water heater, this video is for you. I want to go over seven key benefits to going with these over just replacing your traditional electrical conventional tank water heater or a tankless unit. I've had heat pump water heaters installed in two of my net zero home renovation projects that I've done for three years now. So I can attest to a lot of these benefits. I personally really like them and would recommend them in the right situations. To jump right into it, benefit number one is about the installation. It installs pretty much exactly the same way as a regular conventional tank water heater. The only difference is that it has a condensate drain line coming off the heat pump and you'll need to drain that water out of the house however you can, which could mean just punching a hole through the wall nearest point to the water heater or installing a condensate drain line pump to get it up and out but otherwise it installs the same. Benefit two is that it actually cools the space down a little bit because it more or less acts like an air conditioner. It's taking the ambient heat out of the surrounding air and heating up the water with it and it emits cold air much like an air conditioner. So this is especially good if you're in the south, if you're trying to cool your garage down a little bit, if it's in there or if it's inside the house, it'll help the air conditioner a little bit. This could be debated and seen as a downside if you're in more of a heating climate, which means you're gonna use more heat than air conditioner. But in reality, it only changes the temp around the unit two to three degrees, and it doesn't use much energy either way. So it's not that big a deal, but in the South in particular, or if you're trying to uh, cool the house, this can be a slight benefit. Benefit three is about the standard warranty. And this is for a longer video to really dig into the details on different manufacturers. But in general, heat pump water heaters come with a 10 year warranty and a one year labor warranty. So it's mostly on the tank and some parts itself. Again, you have to dig into the fine print, but as compared with regular tank electric water heaters, the cheaper ones usually only have a six year warranty. You can pay a little bit more for like a nine year warranty or the 12 year warranty is good, uh, which also the gas heaters usually come with. So gas is a little bit better than electric. But if you're gonna go with an electric water heater and electrification in general, it's about $300 more for the 12 year warranty basic conventional tank versus the six year warranty. But again, the 10 year on the heat pump units, and I checked both Lowe's and Home Depot, they're still 10 years. That's pretty good. Uh, I've had mine installed for three years now and haven't had any issues at all. So knock on wood, you won't either but a 10 year warranty is a good one to start with. So that's why I named this benefit. The fourth benefit to mention is that heat pump water heaters come with multiple modes. And that means that you can choose kind of your efficiency level versus how fast it heats up the water. And this is because heat pump hot water heaters include both your typical heating element that comes in a standard electrical conventional tank and the heat pump unit sitting on top of the unit and so that you can choose to run one or the other, depending on, again, how fast you wanna heat the water in your house or how much energy savings you wanna have, or you can run them both at the same time or put it on vacation mode and so forth. And you could do this all with an app or with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. They kind of come with all these, uh, which is pretty awesome and it integrates with your other smart home stuff. So it's pretty nice. You can take control over how you want the water heater to behave. Benefit number five is about the financial side, rebates and tax credits. There are a lot of heat pump, water heater, uh, rebates and tax credits around the country. One that I can tell you about is 30% up to $2,000 on the federal side. And that's a yearly credit up to the year 2032. So you can take it each year up to that point. Uh, I'm not a tax preparer or CPA, so you'll have to check with your own, but that's how it reads right now. And that really helps because heat pump water heaters are more expensive than the traditional tank water heaters. So if you can get the initial costs down and get the tax credits, that's huge. Also check your city, county, uh, state and utility company because they have rebates sometimes and tax credits that stack on the federal that really bring your initial initial costs down. So it's really worth it. Check those out. Benefit number six is about the environmental savings. And I know this can be debated and even get into politics. But what I did was take a regular 50 gallon electric tank water heater and compared it to a heat pump unit, the same 50 gallon 
and the difference is a savings of 2,664 kilowatt hours per year just using the newer models on the big box stores. And I'll throw a screenshot up of the EPA greenhouse calculator and you can see what a difference it makes. So this is especially pertinent if you're just replacing an old electric tank, a uh, conventional tank anyway, and you'll get the benefits there. And the seventh and last benefit for now, also my most favorite, is about the energy savings. Because you're saving about three quarters of the electricity that you would with a conventional tank, you're saving hundreds of dollars a year, if not thousands, uh, if your kilowatt hour rate is really high in places like California, Hawaii, or the Northeast, or other areas in the country where you're just paying a lot for electricity. I made a couple charts that show the relative savings between a regular electric conventional tank and a heat pump unit in terms of percentages and kilowatt hours per year. And also this chart, which shows different kilowatt hour rates and the different sizes of heat pump hot water heaters. So I put the savings in depending on your location and the kilowatt hour rates. I have another video on how to calculate your exact rate, even adjusting for different energy guide labels. So check that out on the channel. So I'll leave it there for now. There's a lot more to talk about with replacing either tankless or tank old water heaters with the heat pump units. There's also even some downsides to be aware of, or at least just some things to be aware of in terms of location, a little bit of noise they make and some other things, but stay tuned for that. I'll make a separate video. So as always, I appreciate your time. Leave some questions in the comments below if you have any, and thanks for watching.